Hello guys, consider we have a bulb and a 5 volt battery. Our bulb will glow more brighter in 9 volt than in a 5 volt battery. So we can say that brightness is directly proportional to voltage or current. So how can we change the brightness of the bulb without changing the power supply? That is because we can't change the power supply every time when we need to change the brightness. Well, we can add resistor. So some voltage will be consumed by our resistor and our bulb will glow less brighter. So let's say 20% of our energy is consumed by a resistor and remaining 80% by our bulb. And the question is, where does the 20% of our energy go? Yeah, it is dissipated as heat. So this is not a good way for controlling the brightness since we are wasting energy. So the efficient way is to use a switch. If it is on, our bulb receives 9 volt and if it is off, our bulb receives 0 volt. And if you rapidly turn the switch on and off, our average volt will decrease. So if we turn on for 50% of time and turn it off for 50% of time, then our average voltage will be 4.5. That is, it is decreased to 4.5. And this is the pulse width. Okay. And by changing its width, we can control the brightness of our bulb. Therefore, the term arises pulse width modulation. The percentage of the on time is known as duty cycle and here it is 50 percentage. Okay, on time it is 50 percentage. So, uh, our duty cycle will be 50 percentage. And you can uh, give more voltage by changing the width of the pulse. So, according to your application, you can change the uh, width of our pulse. And this way you can not only control the brightness of the bulb, but also you can control the speed of any actuators and much more. Okay guys, this is our simple circuit consisting of Arduino Uno, an LED and a push button. Okay, and some resistors for its protection and all and this is a uh, pull down resistor. Okay guys, and I will explain you the working of this circuit. And when I click on this push button at first time, our LED will glow in a small light. And when I again press this button, the brightness of the LED will increase some more. And when again I press it, it will become brighter and again it will be brightest and if I again click it, then it will be off. That means I had given a 4 level of brightness uh, for this LED and uh, if it reaches 5, then our LED will be off. I had programmed it in such a way that if it reaches the level 5, then our LED will be off. Okay, so we can check it. You can see here. Okay, when I first click this button. You can see our LED is lighter with a small light and when I again click on it, you can see its brightness increased and again it is uh, increased and you can see it is brightest and okay, uh, if I again click it, it will be off. I hope you understand. I can again show you 1, 2, 3, 4 and last one it's off. I had programmed in such a way that uh, at, at last uh, if it reaches 5, brightness level 5, then it will be off. Okay, our LED is connected to digital pin 3 here. It is a PWM pin. So we can control the voltage to our LED and hence the brightness. Okay guys and our push button is connected to digital pin 2. And it is a digital pin and we can uh, get the value from there that is a boolean value 0 or 1. That is our push button is on or off. Okay, so I hope you understand it. Now we can see the code. Okay guys, this is our Arduino sketch for controlling our LED's brightness. Okay, first of all, we want to declare our pins. A push button, I had connected it to a digital pin 2. And for LED, I choose PWM pin 3. Okay, Arduino Mini, Uno and Nano have this, uh, this much PWM pins. 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11. So, you can utilize them. Okay, and I had declared uh, these variables uh, button state and also brightness level button state for uh, storing the state of our button that is on or off and brightness uh, brightness level is the level of our LED's brightness I had given uh, four levels of brightness here you can see here brightness level one uh, then LED will be uh, less brighter 
you can see here uh, i added a, a voltage value that is only 100 then at level 2 it's 150 then level 3 200 and level 4 255 that is the maximum because our pw is a 8 bit uh, so it's support only 255 and not 1023 and all uh, right here analog right led is 0 because you can see here i had given a brightness level 5 uh, at level 5 uh, we uh, i just reset the value to 0 uh, because we want to off our led at that at that condition okay guys and in this step we want to read the state of our push button that is either zero or one uh, it's a boolean value and uh, next we want to check if the button state equal to high if the button state is high we can give here high or one uh, no issues and if it is high then brightness level we want to increase the brightness level okay uh, as one plus one okay and i had given a delay here of 300 milliseconds and if bright if brightness level equal to 5 uh, we are resetting the brightness level to 0 uh, we will check it later why it is like that and you can just skip these steps if you don't want to print it on a serial monitor okay and serial dot print brightness level is uh, brightness level okay i had given given here and we can check it okay next is we are checking the brightness level okay uh, we had incremented here if the button is plus then uh, bright level plus plus now it is 1 okay when it is 1 you can see here analog right led comma 100 okay we want to give here led because we had set our uh, third that is a pwm pin 3 as led so we want to give the pin here okay that is led okay then uh, its value okay so we can give a maximum value of 255 here because it is pwm and it's 8 bit and if, if you are uh, if it is uh, analog read you can give a maximum of 1023 and if brightness level equal to 1 our led should light and it will be not in a brightest condition okay now else if our brightness level equal to 2 that means if i had uh, pressed it again then the brightness level will be incremented and now it is 2 then analog right led comma 150 it is uh, greater than 100 our bright our led will be uh, more brighter okay and else if brightness level equal to 3 it will be more brightest that is uh, we had given here 200 and last one is 4 okay uh, if, if it is 4 it will give the maximum output okay it will provide the maximum voltage to our led so it will light in a brightest condition okay and uh, i had given here an else condition analog right led comma zero that is because uh, after the 4 it will be incremented okay again it will be incremented here you can see if button state equal to high then uh, bright level plus plus that is okay, after the level 4 if again i had pressed the push button then it will be incremented here okay at last you can see here else analog right led zero i had given this because um, after the fourth level it is again incremented here you can see here if a button state equal to high that means after the fourth level again if we are uh, pressing the button our uh, bright level will be incremented by one now it is five and coming to five you can see here if bright level equal to five then bright level equal to zero it is reset to zero here again it is checking if bright level equal to 1 then analog right led 100 else if bright level 2 3 4 and 0 is not in these cases so it will be in a off condition analog right led 0 okay that means our led will be off because no voltage is passed here okay guys now we can see it on our serial monitor okay i had already uploaded the code uh, opening the serial monitor now you can see the brightness level is zero because i had not clicked on the uh, push button till now now i am just clicking on uh, on my push button okay when i click uh, i am clicking on the push button once now you can see yeah brightness level is one now okay again i am pressing on my push button yeah now you can see brightness level is two and again i am clicking on it you can see brightness level is three and again i am clicking you can see brightness level is 4 now it is the brightest and if i again click on this push button then our led will be off i have given the circuit diagram and code in the description below you can get it from there i hope you enjoyed this section guys if so please like this video and consider subscribing my channel and we can see in the next video till then bye